Right, so we're going to look at some of the audio instruments, the synthesizers, the soft synths, if you like, that are available in Logic. We're going to um, concentrate on just one, the retro synth, which is a subtractive synthesizer, i.e. it uses subtractive synthesis to create the sounds that we want. So, retro synth is available in the list here, as um, down here, about here, like that. And uh, this is what it looks like. Now, this is the basic analog setting. We have different settings as well, sync, table, and FM. But we're not going to look at those at the moment because that's a bit more complicated. We're going to look at the analog one, which is a subtractive synthesizer. And I'm going to put up a multimeter so we can see what the sound sounds like. So let's start. Uh, subtractive synthesis essentially starts with frequency rich sounds which come from the oscillator section here and these these oscillator sections we can choose from and in this case we can choose from a square wave a ramp wave and a noise wave now the square wave can also be changed to a pulse wave where it becomes asymmetrical if you like um, but this is what they sound like so let's start with the noise <laughs> the noise we can hear the other sound as well that's because we've got two mixed together here so if I turn this down up to oscillator one just gonna hear the noise if I turn it down to oscillator two just gonna hear that and we can mix the two so let's just listen to oscillator one for a second so there we've got white noise and uh, we've got a ramp wave like so it's got a little bit of a bit of vibrato on it there we go so that's a ramp wave. And then we've got a square wave. Look how it looks like a square. And then we have a pulsed wave, which changes the kind of shape, if you like, but still creates a... So you can hear how it changes the sound. Anyway, so we can blend these two together here. So we're going to blend them together, put them in the middle. So uh, this other section here is about modulation. So that's to do with low frequency oscillation. Now a low frequency oscillator, LFO as it's commonly known, is used to change the sound over time. So on a regular basis. So um, for example, here we have shape modulation. If we turn that up to LFO, you can hear the LFO is changing the shape. I can change the rate of the LFO depth so that's that and uh, we can also uh, put some vibrato on it let's just uh, go vibrato but that's affected by the modulation wheel if I turn this down so that's the, with the modulation wheel on the keyboard, which I don't think you can, you might not be able to have it. If you do have a MIDI keyboard, you can use that. So there you go. And uh, then we have a tuning. So we can, we can create a chord if you like. So if we wanted to make a fifth note chord, we could just add, go up to seven here on the bottom shape. And now we've got a fifth. Obviously you can have a fourth as well. Third, minor third, major third. So that's quite cool. Uh, we'll just keep it down on uh, in in unison. So that's the oscillator section with a little bit of LFO thrown in there. The next place we go to is the filter. Now the filter filters out the frequencies that we don't want. So we have different types of filter. We have a low pass filter, which passes low frequencies like bass frequencies. And we have a high pass filter, which passes high frequencies, but cuts the low frequencies. And band pass, where they cut both the low and the high and keep a bit section in the middle. And we have a peak filter, which uh, is basically like an EQ peak, if you like, just to add a bit of. And then we have a band reduction, which is like a, where you take out a, a bit in the whole frequency band. But we don't really use those. Let's just go to a, a low pass filter and let's just hear what that sounds like so we take all the low end out and there it is all again now this point here 
is very important. It's the resonance, the, the filter cutoff point, and this is where we can apply resonance, which is like a boost in level at that at, at that point. So if we turn it up, you hear that whistling. That's resonance. So that's a low pass filter, and then we have a high pass filter. Again, taking out the low end and keeping the high end. So let's just put it back to low pass filter. So we can have a fiddle with those. We can then apply LFO to the filter. There you, go. you can hear it wobbling away. Uh, I can change the speed, the type of LFO, square wave. So yeah, you can have a fiddle with that. That's um, that's quite good fun having it with the LFO. So then we have the amp section, which is what we know call the ADSR envelope, which it means attack, decay, sustain, release. And normally we use the amp envelope for um, how the song, how the sound changes in volume over time. So if we have a slow attack, the sound will take a while to come in. Let's turn the let's turn the uh, LFO off. See how it comes in very slowly. If I have it fast come straight away so that's one thing so that's based in time and then we have this bit here which is the decay time which is the time it takes for it to go down to the sustain level so it went down a level there now the sustain level is the level at which the sound will be when you have a key pressed down on the keyboard so it goes up goes down and then it's stable on the sustain level Release time, if I turn this over long like that, uh, if you let go of the uh, key, it's how long it takes for it to die away. So it's taken a while. <laughs> and there you go. So you can also use envelopes for the filter as well. Like so. And um, yeah, so that's basically a subtractive synthesizer. I don't really want to go much further than that. There are other synthesizers which use this basic principle of oscillator, filter, and envelopes and LFO. They all pretty much use that. So um, experiment with that. One more thing I'm going to have you to have a look at is the MIDI effects. So have a look at the arpeggiator. Now this means that you can play a chord, say like a C major chord, and it will play the notes in sequence. <laughs> Let's find a sound that's going to work. Uh, try this one. No, <laughs> let's try this one. Just playing those notes in sequence. Going up. Going up and down. Going um, octaves, four octaves. How fast it goes. So there's the um, uh, arpeggiator. There are loads of other little effects you can use to um, have a mess around with that, but that's the most um, interesting one. And that is basically the retro synth, subtractive synthesis, and the arpeggiator. So good luck with that. <laughs>